For those of you who found my channel through being a work person of mine, hi, welcome to the channel. How are you doing? Pretty great. Hey there, everyone. This is Shaggy Girl playing Streets of Rage 2 once again. We're on a stage 6. Um, usually, when I play co op with my friend, we're usually on this difficulty. And this is where the run usually ends because, uh, the good bad at this point, because it's either through me being a complete dickhole and, uh, well, the difficulty of the game itself. And. We usually have about two or three lives between us. So anyway, we're going around the, uh, the beach. Um, turns out the boat so has taken us to an island where Mr. X actually is. Yeah. And this red guy is nothing more than a big dickhole because uh, I try and get close to him and he won't even let me get to any pits. Because so he keeps throwing shurikens and I get close to him and he throws me like a big dickhead. So yeah, he's kind of a big pisser. See, it killed me. And now uh, I have one life left after this first set continues. I'm gonna spell it now, I do get a game over later on in this video. So get angry and so is uh, Kunai at him. And Kunai is about as worthless as the dagger because, well, it's essentially just a piece of the dagger if you ask me. Uh, it doesn't really do any damage, and unlike the dagger, Blaze can only actually swing it once. Um, but the dagger can swing it twice in the head. Which is strange. Anyway, moment to fight, pretty right. So, for a change, I actually play half decently, but to, to be fair, I'm also like down to one life and like zero health. And then three of these jerks appear and just try and beat me up. Uh, I do actually use a lot of specials on these guys simply because they do try and gang up on me. And I know for a fact that there is a uh, turkey right at the start of the next section, but so uh, once all three of these guys are dead, they also get a little bit of help. But so like I said, doesn't matter. The one of these sandbags here, look at the top one, single player, uh, has a turkey right. And this place, it's full of these kung fu guys and the uh, the signal enemies. And I'm just waiting for him. I'm kind of rather wanted to fight this guy on his own because sometimes those signal guys just get put to pain the backside, just go trying to kill something, and then all of a sudden they try and do the Mega Man side and just uh, disrupt your coronation or whatever. Concentration, that's the one. Uh, Coronation is what Galvatron does to Starscream in the Transformers movie. In the decent Transformers movie. And again, with the idiots just can't get near because uh, throwing. And this threw me into the next part of the uh, thing, which I didn't really want because I wanted to kill all those guys first before I fought him. Uh, a lot of the times with these sort of games, you really want to not advance as far, as far as possible. So, you don't get completely overwhelmed, and uh, I think that's pretty much the cause of uh, me getting uh, completely killed all the time. And yeah, I don't, don't think I didn't notice you uh, hiding in the corner. I don't hear a fight like a man. Asshole. Anyway, there's also not a lot of uh, healing things as well. A lot of these sandbags here just contain gold and money. I think there's one of them to Napa or something, but I think that's right up. Oh, uh, that might also be like you are. Ah, uh, here's the battle side of the section that killed me. And because I just got flattened by that guy. So I got high score, I'm just gonna put my name in here. And he's just gonna walk around and laugh. And uh, whilst I was doing this, I was looking at him and it's like, is he just me? Uh, when does when he laugh? Does he do the old troll face thing? So that's my first continue like, to uh, well, I only have two, and I'm, I lose my second one, which I will probably eventually will lose because uh, the rest the rest of this place is not easy. I actually do hemorrhage a lot more lives. I mean, I'm hemorrhaging 
a lot of life, like right now, just uh, kind of clear everybody out. I really wanted to get rid of the biker guys out of the way first before uh, taking the fat guy and that kind of failed miserably, but uh, they're all dead now. I'm just going to concentrate on the uh, on Garman here. Between using jump kicks and probably should have used jump kicks and constantly belly flopping. And then we'll get your bikes, the ca they're like the ones in the uh, back in room too. You can jump kick off you can jump kick off the um some of the things, they generally instantly die. Just uh watch out for um the bike, the bike will you can get knocked over by the bike and the bike explodes. Hey, that's there's an apple there. Forget. How? I want that to in my pipe. I get the lead pipe. Life will be so much easier. And guess who doesn't get the lead pipe? That's right. Blaze does not get the lead pipe. Mainly because I'm getting wet and punched and wet and punched, and it's kind of annoying. I would rather just get the lead pipe, smack a few bits around. And everything will be fine. But I don't, I was a wife instead. I mean, I do get my lead pipe, I think. Uh, it's probably the last hit of the lead pipe as well, which is uh, a pain because the boss is actually right out on my head. And it's not just one boss, it's two bosses. Uh, this is the first time which I've fight two bosses, and. Uh, it's a redo of the third stage boss and uh, the second stage boss. And I straight away lost my pipe. If I hadn't uh, lost my pipe, uh, this battle probably could have gone on a little bit easier. Softly. Uh, you can kill the uh, Rancher boss, uh, you don't actually have to. I believe I just ignore him. I just go straight for the, uh, the Rancher boss. And the uh, real talk, since uh, playing this game again and uh, doing the easy mod, I really hate the stage 3 boss because he's a bit of a dickhole. He doesn't really want you to get want to get any attacks in, he blocks. Uh, when you do get an attack in, he ends up just uh, breaking combo like that, just suplexing you. It's a pain, I don't like him. Or else he does his uh, slash clock run. One or two. Ideally, you want to get him. As he's either doing his, uh, his uh, Shariukim or he does his slides. I think those, those are the only times we really do a half a chunk of getting a hit in on him. And yeah, I've already hammered like four or so of my lives just buying this boss and the, uh, the two other guys before it. Anyway, he's dead, the jet guy's dead. I don't care anymore, stage 6 is clear. And now we're going to be on our way to uh, Mr. X's domain. Which will start to happen next time as we go through uh, stage 7. So, from me, this is Shadigo signing off. See you next time. Ciao!